cool so maybe last 5 minutes i'll just mention something minor and that's about uh, how you will be comparing to adc right let us say you make an adc a vendor makes an adc how do you claim that it is better than or how better it is compared to the rest of the products yeah let's say right so let us say i give an example let us say i have two adcs both can digitize signals with the same bandwidth let us say one consumes 1 milliwatts of power other consumes 5 milliwatts of power which is better but let us say give additional information this has an sndr of let us say 80 db this has an sndr of 90 db let us say 90 okay 90 db which is better now is playing in the digital way in the power yeah so <laughs> right so basically what i'm saying is it is not fair to just look at one of these you should look at right product yeah and if you see if i look at sndr in practice i want the noise and distortion to be dominated by noise or distortion if i have noise and distortion i want only noise or one distortion so i will say it's inversely proportional to the noise power right and i we are looking at let us say high resolutions their thermal noise or quantization noise which will be dominant thermal noise so i'll say this is thermal noise basically signal power by noise power and noise is dominated by thermal noise okay and if i were to reduce thermal noise by a factor of 2 what will happen to the power or let's say it's not inversely proportional right it's a log of the quantity no no i mean you take log of this quantity isn't it ah, right. ah, but i mean in absolute numbers this is fine right okay so let's say you have some circuit right i don't know if you know this some input let's say you have multiple nodes like this i'll just say three nodes in this city yeah this is v out let's say this has some noise what is the simplest way do you think in which the noise here can be reduced without affecting the circuit okay so it turns out the simplest thing you do is you have one more copy of the same circuit same circuit same input same output so which means i can connect them node by node like this nothing changes so essentially what i'm doing is i'm putting things in parallel right is it fine same circuit same input all the node voltages will be same i can basically connect each node to the other node because same voltage is no current is flowing right so if i do this i am putting elements in parallel so if i have a resistor r what happens after doing this it becomes r by 2 right we have capacitor c what happens 2c 2c right and uh, for a resistor what is the pass spectral density 4ktr so here what will be the pass spectral density 4ktr yeah 2ktr hmm? so for a capacitor what is the mean squared noise sampled across it so here you straight away see that again not very strong uh, you know like argument loosely speaking the noise reduces by a factor of 2 you didn't change the output voltage right but what has increased instead power right because now we have two copies of the circuit the power basically doubled so if you had to uh, reduce the thermal noise by a factor of 2 power kind of increases so this is proportional to the power okay so for a given uh, bandwidth i shouldn't be just looking at the sndr or the power so what should i look at instead yeah i mean remember that this is proportional to this i'll make sure that i compare something so that i'll do let us say sndr by power so that way that's a constant right because sndr is directly proportional to power if so i take the ratio it's constant isn't it so higher the this number better is the adc for a given bandwidth right now similarly this is for a given bandwidth similarly let us say i don't know for a given sndr i have a adc with a bandwidth 1 and another adc with bandwidth 2 if let us say bandwidth 1 is higher than bandwidth 2 can you comment on which adc is better obviously 
Uh, do you think are we missing any information? Yes, you need power also, right? Let us say, I mean, for example, this can be let us say 100 kilohertz. This can be let us say 50 kilohertz. But let us say this is consuming 10 milli. Okay. This is 100k and 50k. Let us say. This is let us say consuming 10 milliwatt. This is consuming let us say one microwatt, right? So you can't just look at one quantity. You should look at combination of it, right? So for a given SNDR. I mean, again, you can show bandwidth is directly proportional to the power. Logically, it makes sense. If you have wider and wider bandwidth, you need higher power. So, I should be looking at bandwidth by power for a given SNDR. Right? So, basically, can you combine all these into a single number? If I know for a given bandwidth, I should look at this. For a given SNDR, I should look at this. So what is one quantity I can look at so that it will be a fair comparison. Okay, so it's basically you can take this, isn't it? SNDR. Is that okay? So for a given uh, bandwidth, I'll take SNDR by power. Similarly, we saw. Oops, for a given SNDR, I take bandwidth by power, right? But in general, the uh, thing to take is this guy. And actually, this uh, is called the figure of merit, where you take this fellow SNDR into bandwidth by power. And for uh, this actually can be used for any analog circuit. This kind of captures the effect of the bandwidth of the circuit, the power it consumes. And the thermal noise it has here SNDR, but we assumed it's dominated by thermal noise, right? So it uh, combines everything and gives you a nice metric to compare. And in ADC also we use uh, this as one of the metrics, and this is referred to as the Schreier figure of merit. And expressed in log scale, so you do is you represent SNDR in decibels, and then you take 10 log of bandwidth by power. And again, uh, Richard Schreier is uh, from analog devices and in fact, he is the one who designed the toolbox in MATLAB for everyone to use and he is one of the pioneers in Delta C. So any ADC you design, you find what is this figure of merit, higher is it, the better is the design. So everyone uses this figure of merit. Yeah. Probably let us stop here.